Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. In this video tutorial, you're going to learn how to use Rating Star in JavaFX application. Right now, you can see I have made the arrangement, and with the help of the FXML based project example, I will show you how you can do it. Guys, it's easy, and uh, we're going to start. So, here's the agenda we are going to learn about the Rating Star, how to use in the JavaFX application. So the prerequisite we need we need one jar file which is control fx dot jar and we have to download from this link then we have to proceed uh, to download the scene builder if we have not downloaded the scene builder so you can proceed to download the scene builder and the links given in the description box so guys uh, we're going to start with this step one so open your favorite browser and uh, paste this link and this is the github link and here you will get the control fx jar just scroll down and you will see on this section here you will get the complete details and the java doc documentation all details are available if you want to explore more you can explore it and uh, here's the control fx jar so it is ready to download you can see for the user of java 8 if you have a java 8 installed in your machine so you can proceed with this one and if you are working with the java 9 and the later version so you can proceed with the control fx 11.0 so i'm going to download the control fx 8.40 just click on this link and you will see downloading is started file is uh, downloading you can see on the left hand side Okay, guys, uh, the antivirus is showing a message because uh, this is uh, the uh, jar file. So just keep on the keep button. Okay, because we have downloaded from the tested source. So we don't need to worry about that. Now control FX jar is downloaded and uh, I will put this jar somewhere in a separate folder and the file is downloaded now. Uh, open the agenda notepad and here we have to download the scene builder i have already downloaded the glue on scene builder but i will show you the link so if you have not a scene builder glue on scene builder just copy that link and paste it in the address bar and hit enter then you will see the official download page and this is this page is awesome and here you have a download link just click on it and then you will navigate it to this page and here uh, you have the options download scene builder for java 11 and uh, download the scene builder for java 8 if you are working with the java 8 so proceed with this section and here's the installer so choose the appropriate installer as per your uh, windows environment if you are working with uh, 64 bit or you are working with 32 bit okay guys okay so uh, assuming you have downloaded and you have installed the scene builder now you are good to go now we have to integrate the control fx jar in the scene builder so guys this is the important step don't miss it open the scene builder and don't need to open this fxml i'm going to close it first and uh, i will show you from the beginning so the concept will be very clear for everyone you can see this uh, gear icon so go here just click and come to this uh, option jar fxml manager just click once and you will see this small window will appear and come down here in this section here action okay in the actions and here click on this link add library fxml from file system once you click the browser window will appear so you have to select the downloaded jar okay so i'm looking for the jar so here's my folder controls fx 8.40.15 jar click open and you will see this import dialog and you will see some processing is uh, started and uh, this is the default uh, the components that 
jar is providing to the scene builder and that going to be imported at this place okay so click on this uh, import i will suggest you import all the components but if you wa don't want all the components so you have the options to check or uncheck or okay and uh, finally click here import components and you will see the control fx entry is uh, appear here at this place that means the controls that ready-made controls from the control fx are added in your scene builder for use okay it's done close this window now we're ready to proceed Uh, we have completed the third step which is the integration of control effects jar in the scene builder okay now we have you have to follow the instructions that i am going to show you so here first i will show you the rating control so it's easy first we have a placeholder okay so i have selected the anchor pen and then we will put the rating so first I will tell about the rating control here. So guys, this is the rating control. You can see you can just drag and drop after adding the control effects in the scene builder. So this is the rating control. And here you can see you have a five rating stars. You can increase or decrease these rating stars from here on the right hand side in this property box. Go to here on the max and you can put the 10 and you can see the 10 stars are available okay for providing the ratings as per your choice you can proceed so you can see here by clicking on the preview you can see it's awesome it's really cool you can use this thing in your application okay so this is the way you can increase or decrease the max stars and guys you can see uh, there is a default selected rating which is 2 okay you can give the rating this way one means a one star is selected and three five that means five star is selected so this is the way you can control the star ratings okay so initially we are going to set it zero okay also you can uh, drop shadow You can choose the effect of, of your choice. And then we can check the preview. See this? It's looking awesome. So guys, this is the way you can decorate your stage with the help of this uh, rating stars. So this is the introduction about the rating star. Now I will show you how to implement this uh, in the application. So I'm going to close this uh, example and I'm going inside the NetBeans ID where I have uh, created a sample project. So guys, this is the sample project uh, control effects controls example and this is the FXML based project. So simply I have created and this project has uh, three files, the controller files and the startup file which has a start method and uh, this is the fxml so i have made the arrangement in the fxml for the demonstration and the explanation of uh, the use of these ratings so first i will open this fxml and i will show you so you will be able to understand th these things easily okay i'm going to open the same fxml file here in this uh, glue on scene builder so guys this is uh, the arrangement that i have made to demonstrate you the things so this is the fxml document and uh, here i have taken the two rating stars two ratings control rating one and rating two 
okay and uh, I have assigned the FX ID to each one this is the taco FX ID and the second one is FX ID so guys it doesn't mean you have to assign the same FX ID you can choose any kind of name for the FX ID okay so here I'm talking about the ratings of food that's why I have given these names in the FX ID you can choose any one of your choice for the FX ID so two things we have done and I have used one button so once we click these uh, ratings will be submitted and that will be printed in the console so I will show you how to fetch that ratings and you can uh, save the, that thing further in database or some other places and guys this is the button and on this button click action we will submit and print the ratings on the console so this is the arrangement that we have done meanwhile I am minimizing this thing and going back uh, inside the NetBeans so here's my controller file okay now you can see we have uh, we need the FX ID of the ratings here to get the instance of that object okay so first uh, we have to pick the, this way taco and another one is Casa dealer so the control is Casa dealer the FX ID for the second rating control so we got it and this is the button click action handler this is very simple if you have seen my previous videos on uh, button click handling so you will be aware about that so what we have to do we have created this method here and we have to associate with the this button so guys you have to go here after selecting this button then inside the code section you have to come here on the on action and you have to give the name of that method okay so the same method is created here let me show you so this is the button click action handler so once you press that button so the code written inside this method will be executed okay so we are going to get the rating of the first uh, rating control so use the FX ID come here in this method print ln and uh, we are using taco rating dot get rating so I will write like this user have given the taco rating so you can fetch the rating for the first one now just copy and come back here paste here and we will do the same thing for Casadilla uh, these are the Mexican food I hope you guys like this Casadilla rating given by the user so guys simply pick the FX ID this is the reference object for the second rating control so you can call the method get rating that will return the rating uh, given by the user on the front end so this way you can print the rating on the console or you can get this rating and you can use this further to save in the database or proceed with the ratings somewhere else that depends on your implementation and guys uh, we have done now save this stuff and I come back here and uh, do clean and build of this project one more time because we have made the changes here so we have to take a clean build otherwise it will not work okay we got the message 
build successful now we can proceed to run this example okay guys uh, we got this stage finally and we can proceed and we are uh, ready to select the rating okay I like tacos so I have given the five star rating to taco uh, but uh, I don't much like casadilla so I'm going to give the rating three so here it's looking very awesome and uh, finally we have to click this button and we will fetch the ratings given by the user and uh, we will print this on the console so I'm going to click this one okay once you click you will get the message on the console taco rating given by the user is 5.0 as you can see we have assigned the five star here and uh, we have selected the three star for the casadilla so in this way you can fetch the rating in terms of value okay i hope this concept is clear to you let me do it once one more time you can see two stars selected for taco and five for casadilla in this way you can use the rating star in your JavaFX application guys if you have any doubt please comment i will try my best to reply as soon as possible guys if you found this video useful so guys please like this video and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon if you want the latest video updates from my channel and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help